Uh, no constraints to launch. No constraints. Thank you, Steve. KFC Safety and Mission Assurance. KFC Safety and Mission Assurance is go pending resolution of the range issue. Copy. Payload Launch Manager. Bike to Space Station Processing Team to go. Copy. Range weather. Weather has no constraints for launch. Copy. Thank you, Kathy. And Ops Manager. I see Mike on our side. Uh, MMT's in really good shape. The vehicle's looking perfect. Weather's looking great. We'll stand by here and see if the range can resolve their issue, but we are go. Okay. Copy that. And uh, we'll take it on down to five and see if we can't get there. Yeah, that's a good plan, Mike. Let's keep going. And KC Safety and Mission Assurance. KC Safety and Mission Assurance. Let's see, if we get uh, the go from SRO, you're going to be go. Is that a firm? We yeah, don't have to re -pull you. Mike. Yes, we are go. Right, so we will not re -pull you if we get a go from SRO. That's affirmative. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We're looking at uh, Shuttle Launch Director Mike Leinbach, Assistant Launch Director Charlie Blackwell-Thompson to his side, and Stephanie Stilson, Discovery Flow Director. CTLS, NTD. CTLS. Okay, we're going to pick up the count here shortly. Once we start counting, I need you to insert a hold at five. CTLS copy, we'll insert a hold at five minutes. That's the Test Director Steve Payne. Uh, reminding the ground launch sequencer team to insert a hold at T-minus five minutes. We will be coming out of our hold at nine minutes and counting down to five to enable the range safety officer and the uh, range team uh, a few more minutes to work their problem. They currently are no-go. Two minutes remaining in our hold at T-minus nine minutes. Again, our only issue is a red condition from the Eastern Range. Their central command system display is not operating properly, and it needs to be for them to give a go for launch. One minute, 30 seconds remaining in our hold. NTD ISL. Go ahead. Recorder activation complete. Copy. 55 seconds remaining in the hold. Once again, we will come out of the hold at T minus 9 minutes. We will count down to T minus 5 minutes. Between uh, now and then, if the range safety system condition is uh, corrected, we will continue to count down for launch. If not, we will hold at five minutes. Twenty-five seconds remaining in our T-minus nine-minute hold. Just a few seconds away from resuming our countdown. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. NTD safety. Three, stand by safety. Two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. Kill us out of sequence has been initiated. And the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. All countdown functions now automatically controlled by the GLS computer located in the firing room integration console. Thank you. Our window will expire. About five minutes after our preferred launch time. T minus eight minutes, 17 seconds and counting. All systems are go, except for. Uh, the fuel cells, per your checklist. except for the uh, range safety officer. 
We stand by as they continue to work through their problem. Pilot Eric Bow flips switches in the uh, cockpit to connect the three fuel cells directly to the essential power buses. T minus seven minutes, 30 seconds and counting. TLS is go for orbiter exit farm reject. And Discovery OTC from the processing team of Discovery to the crew of Discovery. Enjoy the ride. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the work you did getting this uh, ready to go and uh, appreciate all, all your work. And for those watching, get ready to witness the majesty and the power of Discovery as she lifts off one final time. Orbiter Axis Arm retracting. Orbiter Test Conductor John Craxon talking with Space Shuttle Commander Steve Lindsay. And NTD CTLS. We've inserted a hold and the clock will hold at T minus five minutes. Copy. Thank you. T minus six minutes, 50 seconds. Planning to hold at T minus five minutes unless the range is clear. Can you give us an update on your uh, return? There's no changes that, sir. Copy. No change. JRPS OTC start ATU display recorders. Can work. PLT OTC, or o PLT OTC perform APU pre start. PLT is work. RTC JRPS display recorders are running. Okay. T minus six minutes, four seconds and counting. Orbiter test conductor John Craxon gave pilot Eric Bow the go to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start procedure. The APUs provide pressure to the shuttle's three hydraulic systems that move the main engine nozzles and aero surfaces. T minus five minutes, 40 seconds and counting. T minus five minutes, 30 seconds and counting. T minus five minutes, four seconds and counting. Countdown clock is holding here. Two minutes and 48 seconds of hold time remain in today's launch window of Space Shuttle Discovery. Today's launch window expires in two minutes, 28 seconds. All systems are go with the exception of the Eastern Range. And they continue to troubleshoot a problem with their Central Command system display. Two minutes remaining in the hold today. Two minutes remaining in our launch window. NASA Test Director Steve Payne checking with the Eastern Range on their status to pick up the count. We have one minute, 30 seconds remaining in our window today.
Go ahead. I got verbal confirmation from the, the uh, 45th Wing Commander. We are go, and we do not need SROs go, so I would like you to proceed. Copy that. Entity, with that uh, verification that range will support today's launch, you need to press on. Pick up the clock on your mark. Copy that. And SRO Entity, uh, need to put this, uh, your hold switch to proceed position. 40 seconds remaining in our launch window. Range right. is go. GLS has the SRO hold been removed. Negative, sir. SRO NTD. NT, NTD. I can remove the hold here. NTD, SRO on 2 and 2. So need you to put your hold switch in proceed position. Hold fire on proceed. BC GLS, can you verify? GLS verified. 15 okay. seconds remaining in our hold. Copy. We'll pick up momentarily. CGLS, pick up the clock on your mark. GLS, copy. Three, two, one, mark. T minus five minutes. T minus five minutes and counting. TLT, OTC, perform APU start. TLT in work. And CDI, OTC, reconfigure heaters. Cap in work. T minus four minutes, 41 seconds and counting. All systems are go and weather is green. Flight director entity. Houston flight entity. MTD Houston flight. I have two seconds of drain back hold remaining. Two, two seconds. seconds. OTC PLP three good APUs. Copy that. Pilot Eric Bow reporting three good auxiliary pirate units. T minus four minutes and counting. The final helium purge of the three main engines is underway in preparation for main engine start. We are go. Copy. Final test of the flight control surfaces is underway. This is a pre-programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness of the flight control surfaces, the elevons, speed brakes, and rudder. Minus 30 minutes and 30 seconds and counting. Final aero surface checks are complete. Discovery's three main engines will be gimbaled through a pre-programmed series of maneuvers as a final test before launch. T minus three minutes and counting. Final pressurization of the external tank's liquid oxygen tank is underway. And we're completing purge of the shuttle main engines. TLT OTC, clear caution and warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. TLT in work. The gaseous oxygen vent hood, or beanie cap, is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. Close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Cap and work. Orbiter test conductor John Craxon requesting pilot Eric Bow clear the caution and warning memory system. T minus two minutes and counting. GLS is go for ET LH2 pressure Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is being terminated as planned.